Hello everybody, it's Kara from Wild Book Garden and today I'm here with two ARC reviews for An Advent Carol's Countdown by Michael D. Young and To Capture His Heart by Nancy Campbell Allen. I received both of these copies in exchange for an honest review, so thank you so much. An Advent Carol's Countdown, Stories Behind the Most Beloved Music of Christmas by Michael D. Young. Um, this is a kind of like an advent calendar in book form um, and it's specifically talking about the history and the meaning of different Christmas carols, um, specifically religious Christmas carols, and the idea is that you would read one entry every day leading up to Christmas um, and this does release on September 6th, so there's plenty of time to buy this if you are planning to gift it um, for the holiday season, you know, so that you could give it to somebody before December starts and it's pretty short but I really enjoyed this. I thought it was really well done. Um, I really liked the variety of carols here. There were some that I was very familiar with and a few that I didn't I hadn't heard before um, and that I didn't know anything about. There were some where I knew a little bit of the history but um, a lot of this information was new to me. Like one of my personal favorite carols is Carol of the Bells and I did not realize that the music for that one um, is Ukrainian. I thought that was very cool. We have some more modern ones but a lot of historical carols um, and something else that's cool is for each entry um, there's like a QR code that you can scan and it'll take you to um, a performance of that piece. I'm planning to reread this when we actually get to the Christmas season, but even reading it out of season, um, I really enjoyed it and I'm giving it either 4.5 or 5 stars. I think probably when I read this um, as I'm actually preparing to celebrate Christmas, I think it'll probably end up being a 5 stars because um, yeah, I just I really love the way this was put together. I liked the, um, it talks about a lot of different like Christian denominations and I just really enjoyed learning all of this and uh, getting to see some carols that I really love and that I didn't know much about um, or some completely new carols to me. So yeah, really enjoyed this. If this is the kind of thing that you're interested in, I would definitely recommend it. Um, and then the other is, this is a very uh, different kind of book, but I have To Capture His Heart by Nancy Campbell Allen. Um, this is the second book in, I don't remember what the name of the series is, but I also did a review for the first book in this series, The Matchmaker's Lonely Heart, which I really enjoyed, so I'll link that if you want more info. Um, by the way, I will put content warnings for this book in the description box. Um, but this is the second book in this companion series of proper romance mysteries. This is set in 1886 and we're following Eva Caldwell and Nathan and Winston. Um, so Eva is a cousin and a really good friend of the heroine from the first book um, and she's a photographer and because of some things that happened in that first book she's kind of ended up becoming the like police department's kind of go-to person for photographing like evidence and stuff um, even though that's not you know usually something a proper lady would do she's ended up in that position in addition to her other photography work um, that's something that she really enjoys doing it's like a passion of hers she's really glad to be able to support herself with that um, and then Nathan is an investigator um, who is friends with the her hero of the first book um, and the two of them have had some interactions before and when this book starts we know pretty early on that both of them like the other person but they don't know that 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 person reciprocates. Um, and so when Nathan asks Eva to go with him to his mother's house party as like a personal favor to fend off matchmakers, um, she agrees even though she's like this might not be super fun pretending to like him when I actually like him. Um, but she agrees and they both end up spending a lot of time together and while they're there they end up getting caught up in a mystery going on as well um, in addition to all the like interpersonal drama and stuff. Um, and I really enjoyed this entry. Um, I really liked our main characters, Nathan and Eva, and I really liked the characterization in general. Like, I really loved Nathan's family, um, especially his mother and a few of his sisters. Um, like, I would I would be really happy actually if we got like a book about one of his sisters later on, because um, I just really liked them and seeing them make friends with Eva. I also really like that Eva is so independent. Like, she has feelings for Nathan, but that doesn't mean that she's gonna want to drop everything that else that's important to her, and I really like that. Um, I enjoyed the romance overall. Like I'm a sucker for a like fake dating or fake relationship trope. Um, I was a little hesitant about this one just because I'm not usually a fan of books where the romantic interest is there from the beginning. Like I really really love like the slow burn of like you know these characters don't have those feelings at first and you kind of see them develop over the course of the book. Um, but even with that I ended up really liking their romance. They have some great scenes together. Um, I liked some of the supporting characters as well and like there's a there's a boy who helps Eva with her photography and I really liked him. I feel like his kind of character is very easy to kind of overdo or to make like annoyingly cutesy and he wasn't. I really liked him. I did find the mystery interesting um, and I also think it gave us some great opportunities for Eva and Nathan to 
to like work together that's something I always enjoy in a romance is getting to see the, the leads like work together on some kind of investigation or like project or something um so I liked that I liked the historical setting and like the time period and like the writing and everything and I like how this book um acknowledges some of the realities of the time period um while also still having like modern sensibilities in a lot of ways like I personally feel like it balanced those things well um like so for example we have Eva who's a working woman and at this time that was becoming a little more common but it still wasn't super common um but then we also have like Nathan's mother who um while she's very supportive of her daughters and like whatever they might want to do she's also trying to introduce them to like eligible gentlemen because she's like I can't assume that they're gonna want to strike out on their own you know so I just liked those acknowledgments here um and I like I said I feel like this book balanced kind of the modern and the historical pretty well I also should have mentioned but this book comes out on October 12th so at the time this video is going up you've got like just about a month so I know I'm posting this a little early but I hope that you check it out if it's something that you think you might be interested in um because I really enjoyed it I gave to capture his heart 4.5 stars and I think as it compares to the first book there are some things I liked more and some things I liked maybe less in the first book um like I think the the slow burn of the romance of the first one appeals to me more um but in terms of like the mystery and like other aspects I think I like this book more so um I feel like that's pretty good when you have like things that work better in one and things that work better in the other. I feel like that usually makes makes a pretty well-rounded series. Um, so I'm very excited for the future entries in this series. And as I said, I gave to Capture His Heart 4.5 stars. Okay, so those are my spoiler-free thoughts on An Advent Carol's Countdown and To Capture His Heart. Um, let me know if you guys are planning to read these, if they sound interesting to you. Thank you again to the publisher for the review copies, and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you soon with another video, and I hope you love the next book you read. Bye!